Bonjour, hello, welcome to Max Mountain World. I've had a couple of requests recently to explain how I do the cross boom on the Moxon, so here's the video. There might be a bit of uh, noise in the background here, a little fender bender at the junction there, and uh, they're, they're all in the midst of arguing. Anyway, the cross beam. On top of the spider beam, I have, I don't use the top two sections, I don't need to. I get seven meters of height off of that which is plenty. I find that if I go higher and I put more on it's more susceptible to wind and stuff. So the cross beam, these poles were as I was uh, given and you can do anything with these but basically the easiest way to do it is to put them onto here onto whatever you want to set up for. This only needs to be finger tight it's just holding it in place. A bit of flexibility helps too. A couple of U-bolts and just once I've got the critical 40 and 140 degree these kind of help keep it in place but I've got a bolt through the middle double nutted up to make sure it's locked and it doesn't move I cannot move that at all and basically that's it now when it comes to the actual elements or the, or the, the booms I've got them labeled up one two three four and basically it just sits on with the temp with the the tension of the antenna when it's up that just stays in place it doesn't need to be fixed and that's it now i'll explain a couple of other things in a minute so the the fishing poles which are just cheapies um out of a, a local sports store and i fitted a piece of uh pipe just so that it fits over the cut end of that because the, the fishing pole was actually too long and just so that it does slot in and that's bolted on to keep it in place. Now the lengths here are fairly critical but what I did is I started off with two meters on each one that's from the center bolt here which keeps these in place um, just give you a better view of that and what happened is once I've got the wire on, I then adjusted to get it so that it was perfectly square and also so that it had a five degree point up into the air to save on land drag with the signal. Once it was all fixed up in place, the first section of the fishing pole, the second section of the fishing pole, I put uh, very tight cable ties on and then taped it up like nobody's business and did the same for all four. Now when I set it all up I basically just uh, put the wire on and then extend each one and the very last one is the one that I just give it a quick tilt up and that gives me the mox on position. The final skinny section of the fishing rods I, I just cut away and that leaves the hole on the end here empty. When I uh, set up the wire, which this is difficult to do with uh, the camera in place, but the carabiner basically just slots in the end like that. When I've got the thing up I can do the final fine adjustments by turning it either way. So just a, a quick one here, a quick video here on the setup of the crossbeam. I make it so easy. I can get this up normally in about, well, without rushing it, seven, eight minutes to take it back down. It's in the boot again within another seven or eight minutes if the weather turns nasty or whatever happens. So uh, yeah, that, that's it. In the tail out, what I'll do is I'm going to build it. I'm going to use it today. I've managed to find a fairly empty parking space apart from these guys that are having this argument about whose fault the accident was at the junction there. So, <laughs> so I'll set that one up and then I'll, I'll show you what I do for the fine adjustments on the setup before I go and stick it all up. Of course, before I stick it all up, there's an SWR test just to make sure, because it's a bollocks to go sticking the thing right up at seven meters, only to find I've forgotten something or something's gone wrong. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Oh wow, we've got emergency services on the go. I think someone's had an accident up the mountain or something. It's all go today. <laughs> okay, finally, thanks for watching. So with it all set up, a quick visual check, the live beam is there, you can see the angle I've got, 5 degrees, slightly up 5-ish, five 5-10, five whatever, 
and not too much tension on the poles. You don't need it. And it's easier to actually adjust the shape of it with these if you don't have too much tension. If you too much tension, that has no real effect. So uh, just checks. The checks are to make sure that the sides are parallel. Make sure that the two elements are parallel. Of course, a little bit of weight on the connection here. Nothing significant. It's tight enough to hold that in place. And there isn't too much weight on the cable because I have another carabiner here taped onto the cable with the cable tie loosely fitted up and that just runs up the back and over and onto there. So uh, let's get this thing uh, tested, get the SWR test and see what happens. So the radio head here, I can install it on the wheel, I can install it there and have a camera on the wheel. It, it, well, I've got it set up really nice for all that here. And that just sits on a, a GoPro display mount, which is movable, adjustable for whatever I need. Now the cable back in here, I've got it all set up, ready outside to uh, hook up. And I hook it up to uh, a switch, an antenna switch that I have here. Um, I messed up a bit of the thread the last time I meant to change the, the PL plug over, but it's in place. And I'll just quickly check the SWR on it. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect, and it's not going to be perfect when it's so near the car. It's not up at its full height as yet. So, go up to SWR, have a little key up. 1.6, 1.7 works fine. That'll drop as it goes higher. So, a bit of protection from the sun today is a beautiful day. So I've got it up at the full 7 metre height and I'm using reusable cable ties to keep the cable, keep the coax down to the next. A little bit of loop here just to allow for turning and whatever and the rest, the excess, I just tuck under the car. I don't loop it, just keep it tucked under the car. I do that because basically sometimes I want to park up next to a bench or a, a picnic table or something and have the antenna a little bit away. So uh, we'll just do a quick final check on SWR now that it's up. Should have dropped down a bit. So let's see. Not bad, about 1.4. That's perfect. And just in final, the antenna switch is invaluable. Basically, if the Moxon's pointing one way and not picking up stuff the other way, I can do my listening on the um, on whatever antenna I have. I've got uh, a Stinger, a Springer, and three fire sticks. A two foot, a three foot, a four foot. And uh, also I can compare signals very quickly, very easily. So, uh, invaluable. I'd recommend that to anyone, but get a good quality one. If you get a rubbish one, you stand a chance of blowing your rig up.